The Headhunters, Naga Regiment of Indian Army. In the heart of Northeast India, amidst the rolling hills and dense forests, lies a land of rich heritage and unparalleled valor, the land of the Nagas. Known for their fierce warrior spirit and indomitable courage, the Nagas have a legacy that spans centuries. For centuries, the Nagas have defended their homeland with a relentless resolve, their legacy woven into the very fabric of these hills. But this legacy found a new chapter in 1970, when the Indian Army formed the Naga Regiment, a regiment that would soon earn its place as one of the most decorated and revered units in the nation. This legacy found a new chapter in the formation of the Naga Regiment, a regiment that has since become one of the most decorated and revered units in the world. The Nagas were historically known as headhunters, a term that refers to the practice of taking the heads of enemies as trophies, a tradition that was prevalent among many Naga tribes in the past. This practice was deeply rooted in their culture and beliefs, and was not merely an act of violence, but held significant ritualistic and symbolic meaning. Among the many fascinating aspects of Naga culture is their ancient practice of headhunting, a tradition that earned them both fear and respect. For centuries, the Nagas were known as fierce headhunters, a term that speaks to their warrior ethos and the deep cultural significance of the practice. In Naga society, headhunting was not merely an act of aggression. It was a rite of passage, a symbol of bravery, and a way to gain honor and status within the tribe. The act of taking an enemy's head was believed to capture the enemy's spirit and transfer strength to the victor, ensuring the protection and prosperity of the village. While the practice of headhunting faded away in the early 20th century with the spread of Christianity and the influence of colonial rule, the legacy of the headhunters lives on. The fierce warrior spirit that defined the Nagas in those days continues to manifest in their service to the Indian Army, particularly in the Naga Regiment, where courage and honor are still held in the highest regard. Every battlefield that the Naga Regiment has encountered, from the mountains of Kashmir to the jungles of Myanmar, has witnessed its legacy being etched. Their narrative is not just one of triumphant wars, but also of an unwavering people whose spirit serves as a source of inspiration and national security to this day. On November 1st, 1970, the Naga Regiment was raised, and its regimental center was situated in Ranikan, Uttar Khan. It represented the integration of the Naga people into the country's defense forces and strengthened the ties between the region and the rest of India. It was the first regiment of the Indian Army to be constituted from the tribes of Nagaland. Their first deployment was at Indo-Pak border, in the rugged terrain where India and Pakistan meet. The cold winds of the night often carry the tension of a long-standing rivalry. It was in such an atmosphere that the newly formed Naga Regiment of the Indian Army found themselves. The year was 1971, and the Nagas were freshly inducted into the defense forces, their reputation as fierce warriors preceding them. However, the Pakistani soldiers stationed across the border had no idea what to expect from this newly raised regiment. On their first night at the forward post, the Nagas were greeted with the usual welcome from the Pakistani side, a barrage of two inch mortar shells. The shelling was intended to rattle the new arrivals, a routine harassment that Indian units had grown accustomed to. But the Nagas didn't retaliate. They stayed silent, their composure unshaken, their minds already calculating their next move. The Pakistanis, interpreting the silence as weakness, decided to escalate their mischief. For the next two consecutive nights, a couple of Pakistani soldiers crossed over to the Indian side under the cover of darkness. They lobbed hand grenades at the Naga post, quickly retreating back across the border before the Indians could respond. Still, the Nagas did not react. Instead, they waited, their resolve unyielding, and their strategy slowly taking shape. On the third night, the Nagas were ready. A few soldiers from the regiment laid an ambush along the route the Pakistani soldiers had been using. The night was dark, the moon hidden behind thick clouds, and the silence was broken only by the distant howls of wild animals. As expected, the Pakistani soldiers made their move, sneaking across the border with the intent of continuing their harassment. But this time, the Nagas were prepared. The Pakistani soldiers barely made it past the tree line when they were swiftly overpowered and captured by the ambush team. 
The Nagas moved quickly, bringing the captured soldiers back to their posts, careful to keep them hidden from any observation points across the border. The Pakistani soldiers were tied to a tree, their eyes wide with fear as they watched the Nagas build a fire. The Nagas, known for their fierce warrior traditions, began to perform a traditional dance around the fire. The rhythmic beats of their feet, combined with the flickering flames, created an atmosphere of primal intensity that unnerved the captives. The tension reached its peak when one of the Naga soldiers approached the fire with a grim expression. Without a word, he drew his knife and chopped off a leg from one of the Pakistani soldiers. The leg was then skewered and placed over the fire, roasting slowly as the Nagas continued their dance. The captives, now trembling with terror, could only watch in horror as the Nagas pretended to enjoy their meal. The psychological warfare was more effective than any bullet or shell could have been. The next morning, the two Pakistani soldiers were released, but not before they overheard a chilling conversation between a Naga Havildar and a Sikh. Sir, keep them, they taste like chicken to sepoy, remarked casually, suggesting they keep the captives to have a However, shook his head. He dismissed the idea, noting that the captives were too weak and that they would have plenty of time over the next three years to find more substantial once the Pakistani soldiers, pale and shaken, were allowed to return to their side of the world. The message had been delivered loud and clear. The Nagas were not just another regiment. They were a force to be reckoned with a regiment forged from the traditions of a warrior people who knew no fear. From that day forward, the harassment ceased. The Pakistanis had learned the hard way that the Naga regiment was not to be trifled with. Their fearsome reputation, already known among the Nagas themselves, had now been seared into the minds of their adversaries. This incident would become a part of the Naga regiment's storied history, a tale of psychological warfare, where the strength of mind and spirit proved just as potent as any weapon. And as the years passed, the legend of the Naga warriors grew, their legacy of valor and cunning continuing to inspire and protect the nation. Over the years, the Naga regiment has expanded to three battalions, 1st Naga, 2nd Naga, and 3rd Naga. Each battalion carries forward the legacy of their ancestors, forged in the crucible of some of the most challenging and fallen regions. Together, these three battalions form a unified force, ready to face any challenge that comes their way. Their stories of bravery and sacrifice are etched in the annals of military history, a testament to their unwavering commitment to the nation. These battalions have been deployed in some of the most challenging and volatile regions, from the high-altitude battlefields of Karga to counterinsurgency operations in Kashmir and the Northeast. From the high-altitude battlefields of Karga, where the Naga Regiment's resolve was tested against a determined enemy, to the dense forests and treacherous terrains of Kashmir and the Northeast, where they have been at the forefront of counterinsurgency operations. The Naga Regiment has proven time and again that their courage knows no bound during the Indo-Pak War of 1971. The 1st Battalion of the Naga Regiment was awarded its first battle honor. Deployed in the Eastern Theater, the battalion played a crucial role in the liberation of Bangladesh. As the war unfolded, the battalion found itself at the heart of fierce combat. Their bravery was marked by extraordinary feats of courage and endurance as they navigated treacherous terrain engaged in relentless firefights, and outmaneuvered a determined enemy. The 1st Naga Battalion's relentless advance and unwavering spirit were instrumental in securing a decisive victory for India. The Naga Regiment's valor was once again put to the test during the Kargil War of 1999. The 2nd Naga Battalion was deployed in the Dras sector, where they were tasked with recapturing strategic positions from entrenched enemy forces. In the face of relentless enemy fire and inhospitable terrain, the Naga soldiers displayed unparalleled bravery. Their success in these operations earned them widespread acclaim and added to their regimental glory. For their exceptional service, the soldiers of the Naga regiment have been awarded numerous gallantry awards, including Veer Chakras, Senna Medals, and Mention in Dispatches. The regiment's motto, Paracramo VJ, Victory Through Valor, resonates in every action they undertake, whether in times of war or in peacekeeping operations. The Naga Regiment's legacy of courage and dedication has been recognized time and again on the battlefield. For their exceptional service, 
the soldiers of the Naga Regiment have been awarded numerous gallantry awards, including Veer Chakras, Cinna Medals, and Mention Dispatches. These honors are not merely decorations. They are a testament to the indomitable spirit and unmatched valor of the Naga soldiers. The Naga Regiment has also played a pivotal role in maintaining peace and stability in some of India's most troubled regions. Their extensive experience in counterinsurgency operations, particularly in the challenging terrains of Kashmir and their home region of the Northeast, has made them a formidable force. Their ability to adapt to different combat environments, coupled with their traditional warrior ethos, makes them an asset to the Indian Army. Beyond the battlefield, the Naga Regiment is deeply committed to serving people. Their participation in various civic action programs, disaster relief efforts, and community building initiatives highlights their role as not just soldiers, but as guardians of peace and goodwill. The story of the Naga Regiment is a story of pride, honor, and unwavering dedication to the nation. From the liberation of Bangladesh to the heights of Kargil, from counterinsurgency operations to peacekeeping, the Naga Regiment stands as a testament to the courage and resilience of the Naga people. As they march forward, they carry with them the hopes, dreams, and warrior spirit of their ancestors, defenders of the land, protectors of the nation. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.